Hi, my name is Roger. I own my own business. I do interlocking. Here's what I do. And here's how you do a path on the side of your house. And you try to make it perfectly flat between two points. What you want to do, is the first thing you want to do is you want to set up a, a big uh, spike. You buy these spikes at uh, Home Depot. There's like uh, framing nails. And uh, look up uh, string. You can see you follow the string all the way down to the other spike up there, which is the high point. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use fence rails to uh, to level it. So I'm going to put down. I got one fence rail there already. I'm going to grab my other fence rail right now. Oh, please, that fool looks back to you. Fence rail. Got some pretty cool. The fence stuff was you gotta lay your other fence rail down. Right about there. You gotta get a level. It's the level right here. And what you do is you take your fence rail, wiggle it down into the uh, HPV. And I use this HPV as a great product because it's so easy, even after you compact it, to uh, to level it. And what you do is you put your level on top of here. I know that the level is about the same thickness as the bricks. So as you can see, I put the level right up to the uh, bricks. It's almost the same height, right? So what I want to do then is set my uh, level on top of my um, my fence rail, and slide it up against the interlock. And basically, when you scrape the uh, the HPV with the level, what usually ends up happening is the the level takes off just a little bit more. It's HPV than the height of the, uh, the fence rail, which means that I know that when I when I uh, set my uh, fence rail to the to the same height as the interlock, I, I actually want the uh, fence rail to be a little the, the level to sit a little bit higher than the interlock, just a little bit. That way, that way, when I drag the uh, HPV, it's called screeding. My interlock is going to sit at the same height as the other interlock. Because if you set the fence rail with the level at the same height as the interlock, and you, you drag the, uh, the level across, take away uh, the excess uh, HPV, what ends up happening is uh, your next area that you're leveling will be a little bit lower, and you don't want that to happen. You want it to be the same height. So first what you do is you set one end of the fence rail. And what you want to do is you want to set it you can see you want your uh, your level to be just a little bit underneath the string line because that way you know you're not going to hit your string line, right? And we go over here to the other side and you check the level and you go, oh look at that, the level is a little bit higher than the uh, string line on this side. So what you do is you wiggle it down a bit so you think it's the right, uh, the right height and it's just underneath. When it's just underneath the string line, you know you got your right height. So then what you do is you always double check. You go back to your first side that you checked. And oh, you can see, you know what? It, as I was adjusting the other end, it raised up that side, which means there's probably still a little bit of a hump here in the middle. You can probably take it out a little bit more there. Oh, well, it raised this side up, you see? You gotta go back a bunch of times, back and forth. Make sure that it's the right, uh, right height that lets you go right right there go back to this side check it over here oh it's a little bit low which is actually fine because then I can just add a little bit underneath here underneath this side to get it to be to be the right height well, some and you just kind of reinforce it Make sure that it to help it so it doesn't move, right? So yeah, we're about the right height over here. We go back over here and check it again. You never check it too much. And that's it right there. That's our first fence rail set right there. Then what you want to do, you put your level down, check the bubble. If the bubble's in the right place, you want the bubble to be touching the top line. It gives you like the perfect slope. But in this case, I'm gonna match it up to the slope of the interlocking of the back patio. So, I gotta make this fence, this is the beginning of the path here, it's gonna be a little bit lower. I'm gonna set, set this fence rail right here. To be 
I just set it to be just a little bit above the bottom of the inner lock over there. I'm assuming that this side is maybe a little bit higher. Wiggle it down. So I set the uh, fence rail just a little bit above the uh, bottom of the interlock. That way when I when I drag it and I screed it, it's gonna be a perfect height. Alright. There we go. We're going to go over here and you check this height, this side. And what you gotta do is you can see here the bubble is way above the line. So we're gonna lift it up a bit. Put a little bit of HPV underneath there. And that's it right there. That's our perfect height. Just reinforce it a bit. There you go. Then what you got to do is take your level right here like this. And you can see where you got a bit too much. Maybe above the level. So our path is going to be four feet wide. So all the stuff on the outside here is extra HPV. And you can just use it to uh, help you level it. And you just drag it across between the two points. It makes it perfectly flat. Amazing how flat it looks too. That way you won't have any big dips in the middle of your path. And that's all. That's all you really need to know.